What's up, good people? What's up, good people? It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the Impact Builder, coming to you on this Work For It Wednesday. What do we do on Wednesdays? We work for it. So get up, get moving, and let's get it done. That's what we do. No excuses on Wednesdays. We put that work in. We do what we need to do. We handle our business. And everything that we do is worth working for. So you got to put in that work. If you want to be a successful entrepreneur, you got to put that work in. If you want to be a successful leader, you got to put that work in. If you want a, a powerful, dominant brand in your industry, you got to put the work in. You got to do the work. You've got to do what others aren't willing to do. I promise you, anyone that you look at that dominates, any uh, company that dominates its industry, they do what others aren't willing to do. They put in the time, they put in the effort, they put in the, 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 the work in order to be able to be uh, who it is that they are, where and to get where it is that they that they want to get to. McDonald's didn't become McDonald's because it did what everybody else does. Chick Fil A didn't become Chick Fil A just because because it did what everybody else did. It thinks outside the box. Here, here's the crazy thing, and then I'm gonna get into um, my uh, the, uh, what we've been talking about this week, which is um, the uh, the five. I'm sorry, the five brands, the five, uh, the seven fundamental strategies of business, of a, a business brand success. Seven fundamental strategies of business brand success. But here's the crazy thing about, uh, about Chick-fil-A and the owner, the, the owner, he's passed away now. But what restaurant would have the audacity to be closed on the bit which what could be the busiest day of the week for them chick-fil-a could have easily with its with its weekly uh income had and in the far greater bottom line if they were open on sunday but you know what The owner of Chick-fil-A said, you know what, my faith is more important than being open on one of the busiest days, what could be the busiest day of the week. And you know what, (laughs) when you go to Chick-fil-A, you see lines of cars lining up the drive-thru, and you might even on, on a day you might even see lines on the inside as well without being open on Sunday they are still one of the top franchises restaurant franchises in 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 the country and they're not open on Sunday i don't think that there's any other restaurant french you know fast food restaurant that's closed Yet alone, clo- that's closes. Yet alone, closed on a Sunday. Who does that? So as you think about your brand, you think about being the the best in your industry. What are those things that you need to do in order to be able to separate you from everybody else? That, that I just wanted to bring that up as I was talking about that this morning. But so let's jump into um, day three of our seven fundamental uh, strategies. Of business brand success, business brand success. That's what we're focusing on this week. Monday we talked about, of course, partnerships, collaborations, and sponsorships, and how those are the key, one of the keys to expanding your brand, getting the exposure, the awareness, putting the awareness that you that you want out there. Yesterday we we talked about, and I had and I flipped them, and I hadn't realized that I flipped them. Um, yesterday we talked about or talked about exposure. So it's going to be kind of out of order if you're looking at my um at my, at my banners on my um on my Facebook page or, or, or on my TikTok or on my um or, on LinkedIn. 
I have technology should have been second, but I talked about exposure yesterday. Today I'm going to talk about technology. And technology is a, is a great thing, but it can also be a not so good thing. Let me explain to you why. The, 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 the benefits of, of technology, and then I'm going to talk about the drawbacks of, of technology. Technology has given us the ability to be able to move forward in how and being more efficient, being more uh, 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 task oriented, be able to be more structured, more organized, and has even um, is shifting the workforce that we that we are part of or that we that we are engaged in. It, technology is changing how we do business. I mean, it, it, technology has always been an aspect of of how business has changed. I mean, look at look at what we're doing right now. I'm talking to you on a phone, <laughs> and and this video goes all over the world. I'm gonna say that again for you. Technology has gotten us to the point where I can talk about my brand on my phone, and I can reach someone totally across the world right now. Not even 10, 15 years ago was this possible. And, and it's, when we look at technology, that's the phenomenal thing about it. It, it allows us to be able to um, create more awareness of our brand from a, a and I always talk about this, from a local, um, uh, yeah, from a local, national, and global standpoint and and with each of those you as a as an entrepreneur and as a leader you should have a strategy for how you're going to grow locally how you're going to grow nationally and how you're going to grow globally and when you put those pieces together for your brand one of the most effective ways to do that is the use of technology. How are you using technology to create the awareness of your brand? Because you could have the greatest widgets in the world, but if nobody knows that you have those widgets, those gr the greatest widgets in the world, it does you no good. So technology is great in being able to use it to be able to create the awareness but we should also be using technology to be able to make our brands more efficient, make them um, more, uh, make the experience that we give to our uh, to uh, to our customers and to our clients that make that experience even better. That's what technology can do for you. You know how they ask what can Brown do for you, UPS? Well, this is what technology can do for you. When it's used the proper way and in its, in its most useful form, you, cre you create this experience, you create this dynamic with your brand, you create an awareness that not everybody um, is, is going it, to, it has the ability to be able to do. Well, they have the ability to, but they don't necessarily take advantage of that ability. So are you going to be the one? To take advantage of that, of this tool, of this technology that we have at the in the palm of our hands, literally, <laughs> you know, and 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 we can make things run a lot smoother if we're automated. It is the more automated we are, uh, the better. Uh, but I'm going to say that in this context, though, be careful and be mindful and make sure that you aren't automated to the point. Where you take away the human element. Make sure that you're automated, but not automated to the point where you take away the human experience from your brand. And what do I mean by that? Hey, good morning. Good morning, Doc. <laughs> hey, Bernice. How are you? <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Oh, cool. So that, see, I'm reaching, see, what did I talk about? Talk about global, right? Thank you. Thank you for saying that, Bernice. Yes, people all the way over in Kenya are being able to watch this. That is absolutely outstanding. That is phenomenal. 
But what what I want you to be mindful of, be careful of as entrepreneurs. Like we've got to be careful of because it's the one thing that I'm seeing that I don't particularly like about technology. Is is we've gotten to the point where I think a lot of industries are are fully depending on technology, and that's not a good thing. I talk about this all the time. How many times do we now call up a company because because there's something wrong because we're ordering something online or we're doing this doing that, and we can't get a person. And the, what we did the issue that we're dealing with is not something that can be easily put in the Q and A's because it goes beyond those those most frequently asked questions. Yeah, we can think of a lot of issues that might come up. But I promise you, there are issues that can only be dealt with by another human being because there's a human element to it that needs to be dealt with. So we've got to be mindful. Be mindful of that as entrepreneurs. Please be mindful of that. Because nothing frustrates me um, as much as calling up a, a business and all I get is automation. I can't talk to a human person and I know what it is that I'm trying to resolve. It is, it can't, it's, it's not done through, you know, it can't be done through just me. You know, if the, this step, this, that, the, it, that doesn't, that's not going to make my experience with you any better. So we've got to create these experiences that make it, that make it most, um, easy and most compatible for our customers, for our clients. There should be no reason as entrepreneurs why, yes, technology is good and that we use technology, but there should be no reason that any of your clients, any of your clients does not have access to a human person. I know we, you know, AI, artificial intelligence, for those that might be, might not be familiar with it, artificial intelligence, it has its place, it's good, but it also is, it has its drawbacks, and the drawback to technology is the, the, either the misuse or the non-use or the taking away of the human element. And and we we can't do that as entrepreneurs. I'm telling you, the the business work, the industries will suffer. Trust me, they will suffer because of that element. You're taking away the customer service aspect of business, and that's what you don't want to do. So as great as as great as technology is, you you want to make sure. That your that your use of technology is in the right way, and that it affords you to be able to create a greater experience for your for your clients, but at the same time, do not do not fully depend on AI uh, technology to be able to do the work that you know um, should be done by by a human being it's it's a part of our everyday world now. If you go to the supermarket, they have what the self check line right where you got to scan your own stuff I, I just I can't I'm sorry y'all. I can't get with that I don't like it one because it takes away jobs but then two I didn't come here to work that, that's not what I do you know and so I'm I'm adamant about making sure that I go to an actual cashier when I go to the supermarket when I go to Home Depot when I go to um you know stores because they are, they they uh, when I go to a, a fast food restaurant, they have them now where you can just go and do your own, you know, order your own food right off of a, a thing as opposed to a human person. And to me, that just takes away the human element. That, that that that's that experience is not an experience to me. It it there's there's no human element, and and even with AI, this is what I noticed from AI that. AI is is just a computer, and it's going to spit it out without any context, without any feeling, without any, um, you know, one way or the other. It's just going to give you the information. It's going to give back to you 
what it is that you're asking to do without any thinking, you know, it's just going to give you information. And there's a human element to giving you information that is different from technology giving you information. Now, I'm not saying, like I said, I'm not saying that technology is, 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 a, is a, you know, is, is a bad, bad thing. But if it's used in the wrong context, if it's u- not used in the right context in the right way, it can be, you know, it, it can be something that is, that is, that can take us somewhere that we erase or we're, we're, we're erasing the human element from our, from the experiences that we're trying to create with our customers, with our clients. Trust me. If 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 I'm a client of yours, yeah, I need to talk to you. I need to be able to hear your voice, not some automated voice. I need to be able to see you, see your expressions when you're telling me about something that might be new or that might be coming. Those are all pieces of of technology. And, and how we have to be careful in the use of technology and, and how it can benefit us, but how there are some drawbacks to it as well. So technology is our friend. Technology needs to be used because it's help, it helps us to be able to advance and to move and do things at a faster pace. And even for my authors that are here, it can assist you in being able to, to get you know, to, to be able to get your book completed, write your book, um, editing, the editing process and those things. And, can, and it can also be helpful um, if you have a writer's block. You know, if you're trying to find, figure out a way to say something, yeah, AI can give you, technology can give you a different way of being able to say something. So it's beneficial. But be mindful. You want to make sure that you're mindful. Technology, I'm telling you, it's a great thing. It's a good thing. But, but, but we've got to be careful. So today, as you as you think about how you're using, think about how you're using technology in your business. How automated is your system? You should have a system that that takes your client from the before when you before you engage with them, before they may have even heard of you. You should have a system in place, the during and the after, as as my good friend Tanya Lewis said, the before, the during, and the after. How are you using technology before? How are you getting the word out? Are you using the tools that you have in order to be able to reach your target market? Take advantage of that. Use technology to do that, to reach people that you would not ordinarily be able to reach. Like I just said, so, uh, I got people from Kenya. From Africa, listening to me, listening right now, all because of technology. So, how do you how do you use technology before to be able to connect with them? How are you using technology during? That? What experience are you creating for them while they engage with you with you your you or your brand? What does that experience look like? Think about it. Think about every time that you go to, let's say, a McDonald's or a Chick-fil-A or, or any other restaurant, that experience. Do you want to map out your whole experience that, that you want your clients to have with you? And, and it's more than just click this, click here to go there, click here to go here, click here to go here. Yes, you, you want to have technology in the clicks. But you also want to have a human element to how you're doing business, especially in the during and and that experience that you're creating. That experience doesn't happen if it's just a bunch of clicks. (laughs) I mean, right now, we literally live in a time where you can you can actually be at home and not have to go anywhere. (laughs) <laughs> that's how advanced we are in technology that we literally can be home and don't have to leave the house that's what technology has done for us but what did I just say a couple minutes ago it's taken away the human element where being at home just by yourself 
with that you you have no interaction with other people but you want to make it so that even if with those interactions that you you know that you that there's a human element to having those interactions i don't want somebody to be in the house all the time and not have any human interaction that's not what we were created to do created to be and then the after how are you using technology to follow up asking your clients how was their how was their what was their experience and and what you can use with that data cuz that's what technology allows you to be able to do is collect the data from that and be able to use that data to make the experience even better. So it, it has its, like I said, technology has its its great points. But it's got to be used in the right way. So what can technology do for you? But don't allow technology to take over you. Oh, I just said something right there, y'all. <laughs> what can technology do for you? But don't allow technology to take over you. Don't get lazy. Don't think that technology is here to do everything for us. I know, I know we we, we want to be more efficient and everything like that. But but we we cannot, as entrepreneurs, as as leaders, get lazy. To use technology. In a, in a great way, make that experience even better for your for your for your clients, and and use it to be able to to expand your reach for your brand and your awareness of your brand. It's given a technology has given us the ability to be able to be where we could not be. Like I said, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, 50 years ago. Look at how uh, hip hop has turned 50 this year y'all right 1973 look at where technology has taken hip-hop hip-hop is 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 a global phenomenon because of the reach that it has been able to have it, uh, through the use of technology we've gone from uh from vinyl no videos to now where we can watch a myriad of, of videos, songs. You can pull up pretty much any song from any era that you want to with the use of technology. That's what technology can do for you. So take a look at your business. Take a look at your brand. See where it is. See how technology can assist you in being able to grow it. Like I said, like hip hop has grown, how can technology be used to be able to create this awareness that I want people to have of my brand? From a local perspective, from a national perspective, and from a global perspective. Technology can assist you in being able to do that in all those areas. So think about that today. How do I want to grow my brand? How do I want my brand to be successful from a technology standpoint? You look at it that way, I promise you, you will have a brand that is a, a brand that is successful, that is uh, doing, that will do well in the use of technology and, and in the uh, enhancement of, of how you, of the experience that you give to your, to your clients. It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the impact builder, coming to y'all. It's work for a Wednesday. Let's go to work. <laughs> Let's go to work. Let's go to work. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Have a great day.